was sentenced to death for the murder of Jonathan Rizzo. He was, however, sentenced to life in prison without release for the murder of Philip McCloskey. This is, of course, the second time Gary Sampson has been sentenced to death for the 2001 murders. However, his initial death sentence back in 2003 was overruled due to juror misconduct. That is why we had this retrial. Sampson did admit to carjacking and murdering the Massachusetts men over several days in July of 2001. He also admitted to murdering Robert Whitney in New Hampshire days after the Massachusetts murders. The split verdict here today was disappointing for both families, but in the end, the resulting death sentence for one of the murders is justice for all of them. But I think this was all about never giving up. And 15 years is a long time, but um, we just somehow don't know how to quit. This isn't about competition or anything. It all ended up in the, in the verdict of death, so I'm happy with the results. Jonathan Rizzo's mother also spoke today, saying the difference between this trial and the first one is that the victims were humanized in this case, that she did not want them defined by the evil and the death that surrounded them, but how they lived their lives. And in JC? Let's take a live.